a large log goes through a large saw. Not a particularly unusual sight in itself. But this is a special order. It's special because the order is for a load of large cross-section structural timbers. They are destined for a restoration project on the Lord Brassey Battery, near Reefton on the west coast of the South Island. The battery was held together by a timber framework, which has all but rotted away. The framework was built a hundred years ago of native hardwoods. Much of it, probably from red beech trees, felled on the site. But in restoring the battery today, native timbers are out of bounds. So, plantation softwoods must be used. The problem is how to handle the new timber so that it will last at least as long as the original hardwoods. At the sawmill, fulfilling the order starts with selecting suitable logs from the stack. Not just for length, but for consistent condition along the heart of the cross section. West Timber was selected for the job because it had a good record of caring for and handling re-timbering work in the past. And not all mills are prepared to handle special requirements. Yep. The first step in treating the timber is to cook it. This is just a long pressure cooker. Long to allow lengths of timber. And pressure to force steam into the timber. To open up the pores of the wood for the chemical treatment to follow. For such large cross-section timber, the steaming will last for 12 to 14 hours, at a pressure of two atmospheres, heating the core of the timber to a temperature of 136 degrees centigrade. The chemical treatment is to H5 standard. That is, exposed to the weather, in ground or fresh water, ground contact, or conditions of severe or continuous wetting, where uses are critical. Could be describing the West Coast.
The treatment is CCA. That is copper, chrome and arsenic. And it takes one and a half hours at a pressure of 200 psi, or about 13 atmospheres, to force it into the heart of the timber. After such an invasive soaking, the next treatment is very traditional. Time. The timbers are left to dry out slowly, bound together in ricked stacks to avoid warping and cracking, seasoning gently through a prolonged hot Reefton summer. <laughs> 